Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 12 of Let's Platinum Elden Ring. Alright, let's keep going. So, we can only go one direction at the moment, so let's do that. We're going to come to an area that is actually quite filled with a lot of enemies. There's a big stone digger troll over there, and there are a lot of dog type enemies in this area, as well as I think a few demi humans. So let's start by heading to the left here, and just taking these guys out almost with one shot. <laughs> Careful, careful, careful. These guys are not demi... Yeah, these guys are not demi-humans. These are a different type of enemy known as a misbegotten. Um, we will learn about them eventually. Oh, we'll learn more about them soon. But if you knock them out of the air, they fall flat on their back. Smithing stone 2 there. Golden rune 2. You can collect... Another prize over here in this upturned caravan. This is a Morning Star, pretty good weapon actually. Um, hmm. I might try. Let me just try and craft some more of these. I'll make two. I think I can get close enough to get their attention without having to use the flame pot. Yes, I am still heavy loaded. That's Bloodhound's Finesse. So Bloodhound's Finesse, the good thing about it is you can use it um, and you, well, uh, right there I wasn't knocked out of it, but there's a chance that you could be. Oh, there's this knight as well. All I need to do is get enough runes to level up on my endurance one more time and I think I'll be good in terms of weight. Take this guy out. Really? Now all that's left is the stone digger troll, hopefully I can deal with him. You can use your ash ashes here if you want. I'm not going to. So I always like to critically hit his leg. Watch the bleed. Okay, so he knocks, gets knocked down. Two-handed R2 for a 786. That was a bleed and plus a regular charge attack. 393, another charge, and regular attack. Done. Nice. Wow, 1050 he gave, and how far are we? I need 1400. Is this guy alive? Oh, he is. <laughs> that guy was, like, not moving a muscle. Hey, I got my flask back. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, actually, this is the part where I get a little bit confused about where to go. You could have used the Wondrous Physic there as well. Uh, okay, yep. So we're going to go over here. There's a Scarab there that we want to get. These Ruin Fragments, don't worry too much about them. They're not that important if you don't have too many. Ooh, Arteria Leaf. Hiya! Hiya! Beautiful. Ash of War, Mighty Shot. Oh yeah, this happened a long time ago, but uh, I realized that the, f the reason the Flail did so well in that um, Limgrave, in those Limgrave tunnels was because it was a strike weapon as well. I didn't realize that, so that kind of worked out really well. When I started using it, I was like, wait, why is this doing so well? Oh, it's got strike damage. Okay, that guy over there is actually a super boss. Well, not a super boss, but he's, he's a more powerful boss type enemy, enemy, and he only appears during the night. We will fight the one... Um, in uh, in the previous area, we'll fight the one. There's one here on this bridge too. Uh, a little bit later, I haven't actually got to that in my practice, and I th I know he's strong. I just hope he's not too bad. Um, hmm. I want to purchase stuff from this guy, but I also want to level. Let me talk to him. Okay. Yeah, he's got a few good things to buy. He's finally got the note demi human mobs, which I wanted to get. Oh, he's got the crimson amber medallion. I didn't notice that. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's leave well enough alone. I really want to level one more time. So instead of purchasing from him, I'm going to try and focus on that. I know I have a lot of runes. I could probably utilize some of those. Yeah, that's what, probably what I will do. I'll try and level up here in a bit. Uh, hmm. Actually, no, let's do this the smart way. Let's head back over here. I'll get the remainder of what I need, which is 
1300, so that's about seven of these runes. So, you selected seven. It's fine, we've got so many now that we can afford to do that. Level up, one point endurance, and fingers crossed that gives me medium load. No, it still gives me heavy load. Uh, what if I do... no, that's heavier. Wow, I'm surprised by that. <laughs> oh well, I guess no choice but to just keep going and try to get another point in endurance. Is that really the case? What did I do differently? <laughs> I only did what I needed to do. I got the three, even the three points in intelligence. Strange. Didn't think it would be... I thought for sure one more point would do it. Damn. Yes. Cool. Alright. Uh, we could defeat those guys over there, but instead let's go up here. You can see up here we have a, another one of those statues. That tells us where a new set of catacombs are. Hey, hooray, I got it again. Oh, we have to be off the horse. Gate and gate, yes, guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. So it tells us that it's down there in that direction, so let's head there. Can't remember what's in this one. I think it's just a regular one with those imp, imp dudes again, which kind of sucks because I hate them. But I guess technically because the flail is strike, I can probably use that. So I'm probably going to try and do that. Oh. <laughs> and if I use the flail, at least they, uh, I won't be heavy loaded, which is really good. <laughs> Alright, here it is. Alright, so this one is known as the Impaler's Catacombs. So let's go down here. At the grace point. And let's change back to the flail. Alright, definitely on medium load now. Let's see how we go with this. Oh yeah, that's right, you. <laughs> much better. Alright, still three hits, but much better. <laughs> ah, almost fell off. One, two, three. Good. <laughs> the door is right here. Now to find the... the switch, the lever. Every time. <laughs> the way they're designed is this... it's like, it's clever, like it's good because it makes it difficult, but it's so annoying sometimes. Nope. One, two, three. Make sure we pick this up. So one thing I didn't mention about these ghost and grave glove warts is that they don't respawn. So as soon as you, it's like one of the few materials in this game that doesn't respawn. Like obviously unique weapons and all that kind of stuff that you find in the world won't respawn. But uh, materials, regular crafting materials generally do respawn. These ones, they're upgrade materials and they don't respawn. Same for smithing stones. So. Uh, actually, let me quickly go back, because I th think I missed something. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Let's go this way, and if we go here, we'll notice that the floor rises. And if we don't get off the floor soon enough, we're going to hit Spike City up there. Wow, the top of that does not look great. <laughs> so what you need to do is get skewered. Oh, I don't know how I've made it out of that. Okay. What you need to do is you need to go onto it, let it rise, and then roll down below. See, this drop, to me, is like, if, if it had been another, I don't know, like a centimeter longer, <laughs> um, it would have been like, all right, you're going to take damage. Ghost Glove War 2. Yeah, we've got these guys. All right, with these guys, we can actually use Bloodhound's Fang, but I'm actually going to try something. I want to know if these guys are weak to Holy. Because if they're weak to holy, then we can actually use the Great Epe. So here's the Great Epe. Let's use Sacred Blade. Can't really tell. Okay. Well, it does good damage. So that's good. The weird thing about these guys is they seem to keep respawning. So 
oh, we got a prattling pate, uh, pate. Please help. Okay, they do seem to have some degree of weakness to holy because uh, we don't have our effect on anymore and it's doing less damage. So let's avoid them since they do seem to, I believe they do seem to respawn indefinitely. Or infinitely, I should say. The sacred blade pierce, because that would be so cool. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I like this weapon. It's, it's actually really good. Poke. It has this cool ability as well that only heavy thrusting swords and a few other weapons like curved swords have. Uh, where you can perform feints, and I'll try and demonstrate that in just a moment. So the way a feint works is if you do a heavy attack, and then you... So that's a, that's a heavy attack. And if... well, okay. When you get caught, spam L1 and R1 to get out. If you do, and then you want to pull away from it, you... I think you roll backwards. Let me try that again. Hmm, it's not working now. Okay, I've probably got to get away from these guys. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to do, so I'm going to try and just kill as many as I can without getting caught. I think every time you kill one, another one will respawn to take its place. What do they drop? Mushrooms. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. We don't need to kill them infinitely. Let's just climb up. Phew, that was close. But they, they seem to have some degree of weakness to holy, which is good. Okay, we're almost there. Let's pull the lever. Going pretty well for time. Somewhere, so let me try that. Ah! I know, I know. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There. Try and change back to the flail. <laughs> oh god. No, 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 no. Take that. Alright, cool. That was lucky. And what I like about this dungeon is that it puts you right back here, right next to the entrance. But I am going to recover my FP and flasks at the grace point. Uh, hmm, I'm surprised I wasn't able to perform that faint. Uh, let me try it again real quick. So, it's this one. Then you do... Hang on. That's strange. I definitely remember... It's like perform a dodge... Hmm. Ah, oh, okay, you, yeah, that's right. You hold, you do a charge attack, and then you press dodge. That's what it is. So, yeah, you can do that. That's pretty cool. Um, very situational, but it is good. Uh, what is the boss of this area? Ah, okay, cool. The boss of this area is a surprise, another Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. Damn it. No. Uh. I actually did a fair bit of damage to me, but that's alright. Alright, let's go in with the flail. Um, let's put... Let's actually use the lone... Yeah, you want to use the lone wolf ashes here because this time around um, <clears throat> it's not just the Erd Tree Watchdog, it's um, a bunch of imps as well. So this is actually going to be a, a little challenging. Please kill this one. So just try and avoid the watchdog. Get away, get away. Those wolves are dying. I somehow managed to do this during practice without using the wolves. I was like, oh crap, I'm so dead, but it worked out. Alright, the wolves are pretty much dead. But so are the imps. Okay, and make that definitely dead. Let's throw one fire pot. Okay, so now you have to sort of figure out how this guy actually functions, which isn't too bad, fortunately. 
He's not too fast in this version. Later on he becomes much faster. Okay, watch out for that. Do a charge attack. You can break his uh, poise if you, if you hit him hard enough. That is fairly hard. Two, roll, one, roll, one, roll, whoops. Uh, yeah. Okay, we did it. Nice. Phew. That one can be tough, actually. We got the demi-human ashes. Sorry, I skipped that so fast. Uh, root resins. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but this uh, statue thing here, this little icon, that um, basically... Uh, it tells you like that you can summon in that area. I think demarcates is the word. <laughs> I was watching Vardy video and I heard him say, um, heard him say that, and I was like, yeah, de demarcates. But I wasn't. I'm not sure if that's the word. I think that is the word. But uh, well, bird's the word. Bird, 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 bird's a bird. <laughs> anyway, Earth Tree Watchdog is done. We yeah, let's level up again. Just use another two of these. And where are we going now? Ah oh, yes, we're gonna go do that. And then we don't have much time left, but that's okay. Please let this be enough. <laughs> Bloodhound's Fang. Yep, okay, cool, finally. We're good now, we can... And let me just make sure. Yep, so 0.9 difference is gonna overload us, but that's fine. We'll put those other gauntlets back on later. Okay, so to finish off, let's head back the way we came, and we you notice you'll you may have noticed that we skipped an area that had a bunch of potholes, and I actually really want to. So what's going on here? So they're all filled with like some kind of color. Can I get anything from them? No. This this area is very strange. Basically, what happens is these guys can they revive. Hang on. No, that's fine. So we've got another one of those tall slender guys that uses gravity as their attacks. You can use another ashes here if you want. The way this works... Oh gosh! What was that? <laughs> I don't even know what attack that was. No! Let's see if we can deal with this guy now. One on one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stay away. Have this. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I was trying to do Bloodhounds finesse, but I forgot. I was on the parry shield. Nope. That should have been a parry. Oh god, he's really hurting. Alright. Nope. <laughs> Seriously? How did that work? That was like the most perfect attack he could have done. There we go. Alright, we killed him. Gave a decent amount of runes. What did we get over here? Gravity Stone Fan, uh, that might have been what he used. Let's have a look at that actually. Uh, that is here. A shard of rock found in the wake of a meteor, uh, meteorite strike. It is imbued with a particularly weighty magic. It uses FP to emit gravitational shockwave. The desperate ones who scavenge for these shards dub themselves Star Callers. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, for some reason, these potholes are like emanating gravity or gravitational forces and then when you're done, they just look like this, but it looks like uh, gold-tinged excrement, excrement, and yet you can't pick it up. So I don't know if there's anything special here that you can do, or like what I'm missing with this area, but yeah, it's cool. Um, okay, what are we going to do now? We're pretty much out of time, but I just want to have a look. Okay, so we want to go over here. There's a grace point, and we'll just pretty much end over here. We're going to Head over to that tower next time. It's actually quite important, some good stuff in that tower. Uh, yeah, okay, leave things here. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 12 of Let's Platinum Elden Ring. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.